it's Christy. And I think this is one of the most gorgeous boxes that I've packed. I love it. And I hope you do too. Um, before I open the box, I want to tell you about these rubber bands, these 107 rubber bands at all the different locations that I've gone to drop off my boxes and to pray with people at the drop off centers. They've all asked me, where do you get those big rubber bands? Because a lot of shoe boxes are coming in. They don't have any rubber bands. And if, oh, I, if the shoe box were to fall with, you know, it, things happen, uh, that would be disastrous. <laughs> oh, if it was my shoe box anyway, I would just not be happy. So everybody that I'm telling about the rubber bands, they're writing it down and they know to go to blessingsinashoebox.com and scroll, scroll nearly to the bottom on the best deals page to get these rubber bands. And if you don't, it's too late for this year, then get them for next year because they're super for shoe boxes. Okay, so in here is a wonderful wow toy on top. Can you see that? What do you think that is on top? She is very special. And on top of her is the disclaimer that I printed out from blessingsinissuebox.com. The printables page will have this. And it really, it says the Operation Christmas Child Shoebox contains no money or checks. That's really important because especially like I have right here, my envelope with my picture and my note and if they see that they're going to start digging through and looking um for that just to make sure and then it'll be hard to get things back in the box and so anyway i'm really hoping that these disclaimers go a long way to make it easier for the people at the processing center for not having to take everything out and then put everything back in again all right so i'm going to put these things over here and pull out her notebook a green spiral notebook with 70 sheets of paper. I'm going to move my coffee. And here is her sweet doll. I'm going to take it out of this bag. This is an organza bag. You can also find the link for these organza bags that are perfect for Barbies if you go on blessingsinissuebox.com and it's scroll all the way almost to the bottom to find it. She has a beautiful red hair. Now, growing up, I had a cousin, Patty, and she had beautiful red hair like this. And I just admire it so much whenever I see beautiful red hair. So I, that caught my eye at first. And then all of her joints are something else that caught me off guard. And I loved it. So unique. Even her little ankles move. Um, I really like this Barbie and it was a great deal. So when we have great deals, we try to let you know if you're in our Facebook group, what the links are. Um, that's also Blessings and Issue Box. And then uh, you can get the great deals too throughout the year if, you're, if you shop like we do. All year round, we look for the deals. She has two little dresses like this. We looked for uh, modest clothes and it's kind of expensive to get Barbie clothes. And Michelle just had the idea of making these dresses um, out of a certain kind of stretchy fabric. And I think it's really gonna be nice for these girls to have the extra outfits to change their dolls into. So that's what that is. And over here, something special too. It's in a uh, cased in a pair of socks with a fox on it. And it is a music box and you might have seen me do you are my sunshine i've done those music boxes before but this one is different listen and see if you can hear what it says this is a jesus loves you music box and this is another one of those deals and it was only in the $4 range on Amazon. So I love including that this uh, music box in this special box. She has her jump rope here and a toothbrush with a cover. She has a sewing kit, very special for a girl 10 to 14, these homemade sewing kits. 
I chose this color fabric. Michelle set lots of sewing kits and so I coordinated the, it seems like the Lord provided exactly what I needed for these different boxes, but because of her red hair, I liked this fabric. And then inside, very beautifully designed. The sewing kit has the safety pins here. It has a, button, a pocket for buttons and bu buttons here and a measuring tape behind the buttons and a thimble and bobbins of thread are in the pocket there. And then she has this beautiful sewing kit. Michelle created, uh, it's like a craft, a craft kit. So up here it shows the directions and then down here is a printed on canvas, a little bird, and then it has two pieces of canvas. And then on the back, you might be able to see it has a little fluff in there to make a stuff bird so it's a project for her to start with she has pins here needles here and she has a pocket special for scissors these are not the scissors we're using now but i had gotten these before she set the sewing kit these are fiskers but the ones that she got are fantastic beautiful colorful they're not folding and they fit perfect there and she has the link michelle has the link for you if you're interested in getting those foldable scissors on uh, blessingsinashoebox.com uh, toward the bottom. So here is her bottle, her sports bottle, water bottle. What is interesting about this is you would think this would take up so much room in a shoebox, it wouldn't be worth taking up so much room. But if that's not true when you stuff it with a lot of things. So I'm gonna try to go quickly to show you what is in her water bottle that allows me to put so many things in the shoe box. So she, right on top, she has a pretty bow and this need, need to make room here. She has a little toy horse with a garland on top that comes on and off. She has a soft plush heart. We buy these on bulk because we like to include at least this size plush in every box. And she has a little harmonica that's wrapped up and it's a necklace. So that's a little mini harmonica. She has a cat's cradle game. Michelle and I used to play those when we were little and I know my daughters loved them. And the directions for cat's cradle are here. So we put them all together in a nice little gift set that is, um, keeps everything together. Here's, it looks like she has another toothbrush with a cover. She has a wooden whistle. I love including those for the older girls. She has an organza bag with a necklace that I made earlier in the year, several months ago. With my friend Lydia, we had fun putting together necklaces. And then she has this high bouncing ball and a bracelet, a stretchy bracelet. She has pencils, lots of school supplies in here too. She has these tweezers. She has, here's some pencils and a six inch ruler. The pencils are already sharpened. So she doesn't have to s start from that scrap, uh, you know, stubby pencil end. She has another pencil here and some pens. Let's see. Is it, oh, another pencil, a glue stick, and what's this? Oh, this is her hygiene kit. We just put those together using buying bulk nail files, bulk nail clippers, and printing out the printable from blessingsinissuebox.com for a visual um, directions on how to use a nail clippers. She has some erasers and pencil sharpeners in here big and little, covered. There's several of them here. She has a wooden cross, some more erasers and a pencil grip, this little wooden cross keychain, I think. Can you see that? And a covered pencil sharpener. I want to thank my community that has helped me as I'm taking these out. I think of 
Christine and her friends really helped me a lot to provide school supplies. Um, a marker and a pen, a big eraser and another covered pencil sharpener. Did you see how much was in this water bottle? It's amazing. Okay, now here's the lid. What is this big zipper bag, do you think? This zipper bag has one, two, three underwear and five menstrual pads in here and the visual instructions on how to adhere those to your underwear. So this is a special gift for a girl that may not have any access to this type of product, hygiene product, and she will be thrilled that she won't have to miss school during that type of the time of the month. Here's a velvet scrunchie. And oh, I do should I should mention that Michelle made those pads, so very very special to include in this box. This is her other sock. She has a wooden spoon. I like to include those in my older girl boxes. Her scissors. She has a deck of cards. I, they have a knitting theme to them. I found those on clearance at Hobby Lobby. She has a bead kit, so lots of craft items here. She has some pink string. Lots you can do with string. Here's her hat hat. Well, it's the hat for the Barbie. I had to pack that separately because of how it fit. She has a full-size set of colored pencils. She has this bag to use to go back and forth to school. Michelle made that. I just am so happy with it with the pocket and it really folds down small. It's very nice to include. She has a calculator, another extra pair of underwear. This is a solar calculator. She has a sleeping bag for her Barbie, which will be fun for her to use, I think. She has a pencil pouch for all her school supplies, but it's empty now because her school supplies mostly are inside the water bottle. She has a full-sized ruler so it fits in diagonal. She has this coral washcloth. And the last thing on the bottom, a nice, beautiful handkerchief that's printed, beautiful color coral that matches the doll. And that is the end of this shoe box. So let me know in the comments below uh, what if, oh, I am covering her face. What special wow items you like to include for 10 to 14 girls? I really love this one. I think she's extra special. Um, and let me know if you find everything you need on that best deals page because there's a lot of things on there on blessingsinissuebox.com and also the printables page. So that brings us to the end of the box. So um, I want to say thank you for watching. God bless you and bye for now.